So I'm going to try some of the, it's called caiman, not crocodile, but it's basically the same thing. It's a small kind of crocodile that they have here in, in Brazil. Hi, and welcome to our channel. We are Herman and Emma. We've taken a break in our normal life, and together we're going to travel around the world, visiting five continents and 15 countries. We love to meet new people and make new friends along the way. Join us as we take one step at a time on this amazing journey. So, we are back in uh, Brazil again. Uh, we've gone over the uh, border and yeah, we're sitting here in a shopping mall waiting for uh, yet another night bus uh, which is going to take us to Bonito uh, and we're super excited about that. Uh, but we just wanted to add that uh, the, the waterfalls that we've been seeing the past few days have been absolutely amazing uh, as you've seen. Uh, on the whole, uh, our experience of uh, Argentina was sort of ruined a little bit because we've had a really bad hostel experience uh, where we didn't feel welcome at all. Yeah, it was probably one of the worst places we've actually stayed. Now, we're just looking forward to getting to Bonito. So we are 14 hours into our 21 hour long journey towards Bonito. Uh, we are stopping in uh, Campo Grande uh, for a few hours and just changing bus. Uh, both pretty tired uh, but still holding our heads high so far. Just need a bit to eat I think. Breakfast is uh, a big need so we're uh, waiting for uh, something here to open for us. Uh, we have also learned on this uh, trip that uh, there's some um, worries going on in Bolivia and uh, that's our next stop really. So we'll see if we're gonna make it to Bolivia, we're not sure. A um, lot of riots and uh, we'll see, we're gonna have to do some research and maybe cancel the whole thing and uh, see if we can get reimbursed for a couple of things that we've already booked in uh, Bolivia. Uh, we don't want to take any chances and don't do anything stupid, so we'll have to look into that in the coming few days. We found our way to where we're staying uh, and we just dropped off our stuff and had a quick shower and now we decided to go out on town and just uh, see uh, what it looks like a little bit but uh, I think we changed our mind after a couple of minutes because it's too hot and we're just gonna find a local supermarket get some water head back and then maybe go and explore a little bit more tonight when, uh, when it's a little bit cooler Just let go and carry on Just go and carry So it's a few hours later and uh, we come out for some dinner. Uh, we've gone to a kebab place uh, which looks really promising. So we forgot to film the food as usual but we also think maybe that's the best because a lot of you people back home tell us that you get very hungry watching our videos so we did this for you. Good morning. Today we're going on an excursion, we're going to go and snorkel inside one of the clearest rivers in the world actually. Yeah. In Bonito they have uh, ecotourism, all about nature here in Bonito.
So we've uh, arrived in uh, the place called Para do Sukiri, and this is where we're gonna take the boat up the river, and then we're gonna be dropped into the water, and then we're gonna do a flotation snorkeling excursion down the river back again. And it, it's about half an hour outside of Bonito, and it's absolutely beautiful. Bonito is living up to its name. It's like a palm tree here, they say, and it's been overtaken by uh, like a parasite tree and it's just sort of killing it or growing on top of it. They're very, very uh, aware of what's going on. Like they, they wouldn't allow me to put on any sunscreen before I went here, or any mosquito repellent or anything like that, because they want to protect it and uh, keep it as uh, unspoiled as possible. It's ridiculously beautiful. Ridiculous. There's a little monkey in the tree. Oh, there's a nice <laughs> That was absolutely lovely. I would do it straight away again. I'll go up the river and jump in again if I wasn't so cold. Amazing, amazing. So bam, 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 everything goes really quick here in Bonito and we've met up with a couple of people, our neighbors here in uh, Bonito, uh, living in the same Airbnb. And yeah, we're joining up for them, with them for uh, some dinner and we're going to try some crocodile skewers. Bonito. This is a work here in Bonito. Uh, it's a recycled glass that Gina made here. And it's, uh, it's a good work, it's a conscientious work. We have many lamps on, on the city and uh, couples, uh, recycled couples, to drink beer and for all the restaurants in the city. It's a good choice. Cheers! So I'm going to try some of the, it's called caiman, not crocodile, but it's basically the same thing. It's a small kind of crocodile that they have here in, in Brazil. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good. Always put a little bit of avocado on my caiman. Can never go without that.
So, good morning. Today we are going to a place called San Francisco. Not the San Francisco in America, but San Francisco in Brazil. It's a ranch a bit outside of Bonito, about two hour, two and a half hour drive. And today we're going on a bit of a safari. People have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do, staring into the blue sky. And just... So we've arrived here in the San Francisco Ranch and uh, we're gonna go out uh, on a big safari tour with a big uh, safari truck. Uh, this morning and uh, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna have some lunch and then in this afternoon we're gonna go out on the river waiting for a sign some they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends but I don't know what will happen to me will I be remembered in this century or will I be forgotten like dust in a see a lot of caimans but we don't really have the equipment to make them look spectacular for you guys um, so we show you us instead yeah <laughs> am i part of a grander master plan will i be washed away like that means it's time for lunch I told us uh, you can spot over 200 different types of birds uh, along this river and a little bit later we're gonna get to fish for some piranha Emma <laughs> <laughs> well, Herman did get one. I wouldn't call it a catch. I caught it basically, and then there was, as soon as I had it up above the surface, there was an eagle that came and took it. Took the whole thing. Who could have thought? <laughs> very comfortable <laughs> you sit here just relax it's a bit of a breeze there's comfortable chairs yeah it's good no waves no waves all right so that's it from uh, the San Francisco uh, ranch today we got to see lots of animals that was pretty cool yeah it was real cool we sort of uh, struggle a little bit with the language barrier still, but uh, yeah, all the... A little bit. <laughs> um, I think we didn't understand one word no. all day. So, um, yeah, <laughs> but we saw the animals. Yeah. So, another day here in beautiful Bonito. And uh, today we're gonna go with our newfound friends, a Brazilian couple called Renato and Fernanda. They're gonna take us outside of town, about 10 minutes outside, and we're gonna go somewhere where you can go for a swim and a bit of a snorkel.
Uh, today we are in Balneário Municipal. It's a place here in Bonito that local people come here to spend time with family and to make barbecue. It's a beautiful place. We have a big river here that you can make free fluctuation uh, and you have a free time here. It's a good place and it has a good price here. Come with us. Thank you so much for watching guys. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe in the channel. Obrigado! Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>